Joe Newberry, and I'm Vice President of Economic Development and Industry Relations for the Chamber of Commerce for Huntsville, Madison County. In my day job, I'm the President and CEO of Redstone Federal Credit Union. On behalf of Torch Technologies and the Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to welcome everyone here today. We've got a great crowd for this groundbreaking as we celebrate the growth of one of the premier defense companies in the United States of America. I think we all know that Torch has a quite a legacy of community involvement for its employees' morale, reinforcing what a natural fit this company is for this region. Huntsville is so fortunate to, to be a research and development center for aerospace and defense technology. And today we officially add to that legacy with this special ceremony to mark the growth of te uh, Torch Technology in Huntsville. We also certainly appreciate that you have chosen to keep and grow your headquarters right here in South Huntsville. And we're very proud that you're making this great investment in this community. As most of you know, Torch Technology is headquartered here in Huntsville, Alabama, and currently has almost 400 employees in eight different locations. And now it's my distinct honor to introduce our very first speaker. Please join me in welcoming the leader of this dynamic organization, Mr. Bill Wark, the CEO, and Bill will be followed by the president of Torch Technologies, Mr. John Watson. look at his script here and it's written in large letters I realize I probably should have done that with mine as well <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our best to get through it I want to thank you all for coming today uh, we're honored by your attendance I'm gonna put this down so I can see you uh, we're honored by your attendance and proud to have you as friends uh, you're very important to us I want to pause for just a second to recognize some special people for me here today got my family sitting up here uh, they've allowed me the freedom to challenge my dreams which is which is a very special thing to be uh, hopefully Don Holder's hiding out there in the audience somewhere he's supposed to be here today he was our co-founder and he's been a very special part of uh, this organization here and we wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for him and Don if you're out there there's a special seat up here for you too <coughs> And also, there's a very special friend here uh, uh, with us today that I want to recognize. Roy Nichols is, is trying to hide in the cat crowd over here. Roy and Sue over here. You do have a special seat up here, Roy, if you'd like to wander up to, to find that. Uh, Roy is who this street right out here is named after. This is Nichols Drive out here. He was the co-founder of Nichols Research, which built these buildings originally. And as a little footnote, he was a part of getting Torch started in the very beginning. Uh, and uh, we, we do recognize you, Roy, and thank you for being here to celebrate with us today. Uh, most of everything I've learned about this industry, I learned somewhere at your footsteps. So uh, we thank you very much for coming to be with us today. I'd like to thank, I know there's a few customers hiding out there in the audience. I'd like to thank all of you. We're very fortunate to work with such an innovative uh, group of customers here in Huntsville. It's just incredible uh, the opportunities that we've had because of the work you do. Also want to thank our employees. There's a few of you out there. Come on, we can hear a little bit. We have the best employees in town, no doubt about it. They own this place and I'm proud to work for them. Without them, this would, would certainly not be possible. We're proud to be part of the Huntsville community and we're excited to be a key part of the rebirth of Southeast Huntsville. We're excited to announce our plans to add 150 new jobs to this campus over the next couple of years. Uh, we've already made some progress in that and we continue, uh, as we build out this, we'll continue to add jobs. They'll be managed right out of our future headquarters, which is right here behind you, and we'll be adding a conference center right here uh, where you sit. will be our new conference room when we're all said and done. We're thankful to the city, the state, and the Tennessee Valley Authority, TVA, for, their, for the parts they played in making this possible. It's certainly very key what they've been able to do, and without them, this, it would be a challenge to make this possible today. 
we have some really truly innovative leaders in those organizations that are looking out for this community and we're very proud uh, to be working with them in this endeavor. I'd like to recognize our building architects over here. They've crafted a striking design I, that I think is just absolutely beautiful that complements these buildings that will allow us to add this conference center without destroying the beauty of these buildings that are behind us. I've always loved this architecture and thought it was a beautiful place to work and, and one of the things we wanted to add was a, enough room to be able to put all of our employees in one room and talk to them all at one time and, and they put, they've made that possible with their design. I'd also like to recognize Turner Construction here. Uh, they uh, have built a few buildings uh, over the years. Uh, they've renovated a few buildings over the years and together with uh, Athena Goldman, I think they've got a really good plan to move us forward. Um, thank you to Iberia Bank also sitting here somewhere uh, for providing the financing to make this possible. Just like to add a few comments uh, relative to our industry and how we came up with the concept for the for Freedom Center. Freedom's not free. That's a phrase that was first coined by a retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Walter Hitchcock of New Mexico Military Institute. That is engraved into the wall at the Korean War Veterans Memorial up in Washington, D.C. I've been known to quote this phrase a few times over the years without knowing its origin, but I knew the meaning. I've always known and respected that meaning and the sacrifices that many have had to make to make that possible. Huntsville is a city where many of us know what that means and have a real appreciation for it and a real appreciation for those that make it happen. The idea of, of freedom is complex and it must be defended over and over again. Today is a special day for us as we embark to create a new facility to serve us, to serve our customers, and to serve our community. This is a great opportunity for us to express our gratitude for the service of our military and the civilians that tirelessly give so often and is so often taken for granted. We want to memorialize our respect and appreciation for everything that they do. And that's why we've chosen to name this the Freedom Center. I speak for Freedom, Torch, Matheny Goldman, and Turner Construction. We have great plans for this project and we hope when we've finished that we'll have a place that Huntsville can be proud of. Thank all of you for coming to celebrate with us today. Well, like Bill, on behalf of all the employees of Torch, I'd also like to thank everybody for coming out to celebrate with us today. I guess there's just a few other people I'd like to acknowledge as well to start with. First of all, um, uh, the, the, from our board, uh, we have uh, Joe Alexander and Larry Capps. We appreciate you coming out and joining us today. Anyway, we we're, were very excited here about the development of uh, Freedom Center and the plans to make it home to our corporate headquarters. And the reason we're so excited is because we feel like it really will enable us going forward in the future to be able to better serve not only our customers but also our employees. Freedom Center's location near Redstone Arsenal uh, will provide us quick and easy access to our local customers while its proximity to downtown Huntsville makes it a very desirable location to those customers in the six states outside of Alabama where we currently do business. And since we're going to be doing this as uh, largely as a refurbishing project, we're going to be able to do it in a very cost-effective manner uh, without really compromising any of our much-needed capabilities. More importantly, Freedom Center will also help us care for, the, uh, for our employees um, for their health and safety. And as an employee-owned company, that's central to every investment decision that we make. It'll reinforce a number of ongoing employee-centric programs, uh, such as our wellness program. And it'll help support our community outreach in initiatives, such as Torch Helps, by providing much-needed facility space. Lastly, I'd like to give recognition to uh, Bill Rourke 
uh, for his vision on this project. As a founder of Torch and Freedom Real Estate, Bill is passionate about his employees and the community in which they reside. So when uh, Mayor Battle approached Bill about the revitalization of South Huntsville, he was more than eager to engage. You know, actually, I think you could say that it's about like somebody unleashed a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Bill, for all that you do for the people of Torch and for the Huntsville community. We certainly appreciate the support from both our state and our federal delegation who works tirelessly to help promote this Tennessee Valley and the economic development we enjoy here in Huntsville, Alabama. One of our big supporters of that from the federal level is here with us today. And please join me in welcoming Congressman Mo Brooks. Thank you, uh, Bill, John, for the opportunity to share this wonderful experience. Mayor, Joe, everybody else up here on the dais. This is an example of what the Tennessee Valley is about. There are many places around the country that would love to have what we have on a regular basis here in the Tennessee Valley as represented by what Torch is doing today. Uh, let me emphasize something. Torch and the team employee-owned is able to expand today in large part because the torch team is able to do something better or faster or cheaper so you have earned this opportunity and success in a very significant way and I'm sure it hasn't come easy uh, since 2002 uh, roughly 13 years now uh, you've had great success you're up to almost 400 employees you're going to add another 150 employees um, I looked at your uh, statistics for the last uh, 10 years, and at the three-year period, the five-year period, and over the 10-year period, you've averaged annual growth of over 30% uh, per annum. Now think about that. There's a lot of competition in the private sector to assist with our national defense capabilities, and the TORCH team has been able to meet that competition and excel and beat the opposition. And that's a real credit to TORCH and what it does. And you've done that by being one of the best workplaces to work. You've been recognized for that, for being one of the best small businesses in the United States. You've been recognized by that uh, time and again for those kinds of achievements. Uh, let me go to a little bit of a, a second step, though. It's one thing to be here celebrating this expansion and 150 additional jobs uh, for a part of our community that has worked so hard to be where we are today. It's another thing, though, to focus on what you do for your country. And in that vein, let me emphasize something. For roughly seven decades, the United States of America has been the greatest nation in world history. Think about that. No nation in world history has been able to do what we have been able to do. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But part of those reasons deal with our military capabilities and our ability to defend freedom that is not free around the globe. And what you do at Torch is you help empower our national defense, our war fighters, to succeed where no one else on the planet can. And for that, your nation is very grateful for the innovation, the hard work, the technological advances, for the weaponry that you're able to provide that allows our men and women in uniform to do so much on behalf of not only the United States of America, we're free-loving peoples around the globe. So thank you for what you do. Now I'm going to mention something in Washington that might be of a little bit of interest, a little bit of positive news with respect to uh, defense spending. It appears that when we add the base national defense uh, budget to the overseas contingency operations, that we're going to actually be able to increase by a significant amount spending on national defense. And that's good news. Now there's a path that the House and the Senate are working on, and I think that the White House will concur with. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 610 to 620 billion dollars is what we're looking at. And we'll figure out a way to end run around uh, the sequestration that has inhibited our defense capabilities in so many different ways, and which threatens national security uh, for decades to come if we're not able to stifle or suppress the adverse effect on sequestration. So we'll see how that plays out over the next 
a few weeks, but I want to emphasize the people in the House Armed Services Committee and the Senate Armed Services Committee, uh, we have had to work very hard uh, for this success. The OCO money, which traditionally cannot be used uh, for the kinds of things that we do on Redstone Arsenal, some can, but predominantly cannot because it's supposed to be uh, involved in the fight against uh, global terror. Uh, the way we have worked things out with the House Armed Services Committee and the House leadership, that will be freed up and be treated just as if it was base spending on national defense, which will empower what we do on the rest of the arsenal for the United States of America uh, to do things that, again, no one else in the world has been able to match us with of those technological advances. So I want to emphasize, thank you so much, Torch, for the successes you've had for bringing the kind of jobs that you bring for our, to our community, doing so in a way in which every employee has an incentive for the company to incede because every employee owns the company. I think that's a tremendous way to do business. But also thank you for what you do for your country and the world's national security. It is important and y'all have been up to the task. Thank you so much. Well, we all recognize that Huntsville is considered one of the most economic stories in the whole nation. And all of you have worked very hard to make that happen. There's one person here today that works seven days a week, like a lot of us do, but he really works it to make the Huntsville community a better place than he found it. And that person is, please help me welcome this, our own mayor, Huntsville, Tommy Battle. I'd like to take you down just to a little bit of a local level. Uh, when Bill Rourke came to see me and started talking about some of his vision and some of his plans for the area down here, it was like a Tasmanian devil being re released. But it was one of those people who showed a true love for an area. They've been down here a long time. Roy, I think, had the vision of setting up offices right down in this area and they recognize what they could do for a community by being partners. And to all the Torch employees, to John, to Bill, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for a partnership. This partnership takes this area of town and picks it up. This partnership makes this area of town much, much better. This partnership is part of the impetus that will keep us growing and keep us successful. And when we sat down and we started thinking about what we could do, how we could make parks, how we could change roadways, what we could do to make this a better community area for this area, uh, Bill showed a true caring for South Huntsville. So to Bill, to John, to all the Torch employees who are all owners of this, this little area right here, to each of you, your partnership is gonna make a huge difference in a community. Your partnership's gonna make a huge difference in a city. And your partnership's gonna make this city a success. Thank you very much and thank you for being our great partners. Bill, when you called the other day, I said I would not speak if you would leave, if I came. So thank you for letting me know I was going to do that. <laughs> you also didn't tell me anything about putting Joe Alexander with that red shirt he's been wearing with Ohio State University on. I don't think it's, you know, January 1st is a long time ago. You can change the red shirt. <laughs> Some of you may not be aware of TVA's involvement in industrial projects, but uh, one of the examples of our participation is this one here where it got very favorable interest, or I mean very favorable utility rates, but it also got a significant grant, the kind you don't have to pay back. And so when Bill Collins said that they had qualified and been able to get it, it makes me know that the things we're doing for Tennessee Valley are worthwhile. We got uh, Kevin Chandler over here who worked this project. He is our regional person for TVA. Thank you for being here. But Bill, John, it is a tremendous to drive by here and see what you're going to do and what's going to come out of this. It's a beautiful building. We're proud to have you as part of our, in our region, in our valley, and congratulations on your success and continued success. Thank you. The purest form of success for a state or a community in economic development is when a company expands because that's when you know that all the elements are in place for a company to be successful. So for the state of Alabama, it's uh, with great pride that, we, that we're here today to, to celebrate this uh, expansion. Uh, when Governor Bentley came into office, 
uh, implemented his strategic plan, Accelerate Alabama, high technology and high value jobs were a key part of that plan. And so, Mr. Roark, Governor Bentley sends his sincere appreciation today and congratulations on this expansion. When I first came here a little over a year ago with the Chamber of Commerce and first learned of this opportunity and met with Mr. Roark, I learned about the special relationship that these employees have and their ability to share in the success of this company. And it was, uh, it was very exciting to hear. And so we're so excited today to, to understand that 150 new employees hopefully will be able to share that same thing. So on behalf of uh, Secretary of Commerce, Greg Canfield, and all the citizens of the state of Alabama, we just want to congratulate all the employees, Mr. Rourke and the community here in Huntsville for making this a special place and the continued success of Torch Technologies. Thanks very much. Thank you, Bill and John, and thank you for all the employees of this great company, Torch Technologies, that's made this company so very successful. Let me thank you and your team for investing in our community and I pledge to you from the Chamber of Commerce, we'll do everything we can to continue to make you successful in whatever you need. Well, this brings us to the reason we're here. Mother Nature or God or someone has stopped the rain. <laughs> and we're here to celebrate this groundbreaking expansion of Torch technology. And now it's time to turn some dirt. Thank you for all coming today to be part of this great day. As a reminder, you're all invited to a reception. Some of you are in the back here, followed by a ground, the groundbreaking we're fixing to do by, and it'll have some yellow hammer beer and earth and stone pizza as we continue to celebrate the growth of Torch Technology and the growth of Huntsville, Madison County. For all those that'll be in the groundbreaking photos, please join me up here for and grab a shovel. Thank you for being here. Okay.